I absolutely love newly built homes, but there is something about homes built more than 100 years ago. And there are loads of people that only want pre-war homes. So let's break down the pros and cons of each so that you know which you should choose. And look out for my Mickey snack where I'll give you my best recommendation. I will start this off by saying that I am biased towards newly built homes, but there are downsides to that as well. These are my opinions based on real world experiences that my clients have gone through when considering a pre-war home versus new construction. Firstly, a pre-war home is defined as any home built before World War II, so approximately 1949. And a new construction home is any home that's built now, but typically a lot of agents will also consider any home built within the last five years to also be considered as a new construction home. The two types of homes are very different, so let's break it down. Pre-war homes have been around for a while, and because of this, you know what you're getting yourself into. Whether it comes to the quality of construction, the operations of the building, or any upgrades that needs to be done. The downside is that you will likely have to deal with upgrading your home because that sink may be over a hundred years old. This also means that you may have to upgrade things like the layout, the plumbing, electrical, so you have to keep those in mind. Also, since it's an older building, you may have to also deal with more expenses down the road because the building may eventually need to be upgraded like new elevators, a new roof, or boiler. On the other hand, a newly built home has all the bells and whistles that the modern buyer wants. They incorporate the latest trends and styles like open kitchens, high-end appliances, a primary bedroom with tons of closets and an ensuite bathroom, a laundry room, etc. etc. All these things that may not have been a consideration a hundred years ago. These new buildings will also have facilities that appeal to the modern buyer, such as a gym or resident rooftop with scenic views of the city skyline, which most pre-war buildings do not have. But beware, new builds may not be what it's cracked up to be. You may end up overpaying for something that has subpar workmanship. Remember, buildings are built by humans, so there can be mistakes along the way. I certainly found a lot in my newly constructed home. The other thing to keep in mind is that when a building is so new, the cost to maintain the unit and the building are not fully assessed, including the taxes. So those numbers you are basing your affordability on may likely change down the road. So you are definitely buying at your own risk. The path you choose may also depend on the neighborhood. Some neighborhoods may be fully built out like the West Village in Manhattan with their rows of townhouses and tree-lined streets or there may be local ordinances against newly built homes, while other up-and-coming areas will have only newly constructed homes but may lack a neighborhood feel because it is so new. Did you know that from time to time, there are homes that come on the market where their pre-war buildings are taken down to the studs and rebuilt? So, you still get the hardiness of a pre-war building, but with the modern layout and finishes, new plumbing, electrical, everything has already been updated. So there you have it. Which type of home do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are in the market for a new place, reach out to my team at Undivided. We are known to walk our clients from start to finish on their real estate journey. And before you jump to another video, check out this interesting one. Until next time, c'est la vie.